Today we're taking a quick look at my Lumix S5 2X minimalist rig. Recently, I released a video talking about my Sigma FP minimalist rig for the podcast that I'm working on. Since then, I've actually switched out the Sigma FP for the Lumix S5 2X specifically for that podcast. And so I want to revisit that rig build with the S5 2X. And so with that, let's dive in talking about this rig, starting first with the core of the rig. Now, simply put, the core of the rig is going to be a small rig black mamba. This is one of my favorite cages for the S5 2x it's very sleek and stylish but also very functional having all the mounting points i would need for the s5 2x i am using a small rig mounting bracket for my monitor and it is specifically a quarter 20 that goes into an re three pin connection i found that this is the best way to bring down some of the height on the rig and so that's what i'm using to mount my monitor and now moving to the bottom of the rig i am using a small rig base plate for my 15 millimeter rods and i am using using six to eight inch carbon fiber rods from small rig, depending on what lens I'm using, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Now, just below the small rig base plate, I am attaching my Manfrotto tripod base plate. This allows me to go really easily between handheld filming and then also go easily into using this camera on a tripod. Now, moving to the back of the rig, I am using an Andy Cine V-mount battery, and that is attached to a small rig V-mount adapter. This adapter has been really helpful being able to control power flow from the battery to everything on this rig. I'm not talking about powering the rig, I am using a Condor Blue dummy battery to detap cable, and that is wrapped around the 15 millimeter rods at the back of the rig, tucked nicely between the rods and the Manfrotto base plate. Now I am using a detap cable to power my monitor, and I am wrapping the excess cable around that small rig monitor mounting bracket. Now with that said, talking about the monitor that I'm using and moving to the top of the rig, I am using the OC Lilmon 5 for most of my setups. I may switch over to the Atomos Ninja Ultra if I want to record ProRes RAW, but for the most part, I am recording everything internally or to an SSD, and so I am using the OC Lilmon 5. I love this monitor. It's one of the best budget monitors I've used in quite some time, and if you do want to see my review of that monitor, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Now, with that said, I am using a Condor Blue HDMI cable. Honestly, simply enough, it's one of the better HDMI cables out there. And so that's what I'm using for my feed from my camera to my external monitor. Now I mentioned that with this rig, I do want to record to an SSD. And so I do want to move back to the V-mount adapter because I am mounting a Nicey rig SSD holder between that V-mount adapter and the camera. And I have it nice and snug to the eye cup of the S5 2X. And for the SSD, I am primarily using a T5 drive and the cable i'm actually using the sandisk extreme pro cable that's one of the better cables i've seen for ssd recording and so that's what i'm using for the t5 and that's going obviously into the s5 2x USB C port now the last thing to mention is the lenses and filtration that i'm using i am primarily using autofocus lenses every once in a while i'll hook up my cine lenses to the s5 2x but again the autofocus on this camera is so good i really do want to use it as much as possible. So typically I'm using the Sigma 24 to 70. And as of today, I should be using the 70 to 200 as well. I'm super pumped for that package. And so that is the combo that I'll be using most of the time. And the filtration that I'm using to help with the more minimalist setup, I am using just a Peter McKinnon variable ND, a two to five stop non mist variant and I am using a Black Pro Mist from Tiffin. And so that's my S5 2X minimalist rig. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite configurations. I've used it for a while on the Sigma FP, and I'm starting to use it more on the S5 2X, especially for the podcast that I'm working on, to be able to run the camera and monitor all day, but also stay a little bit more minimalist. And so with that, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like, and if you're digging the overall content, Content from the channel, consider subscribing. If you do have any questions about this rig or any components I may be using, which I might add are all listed in the description below, let me know if you do have any questions in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Yeah.